How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of mystery beers, courtesy of my boy Steven. This has that... It's not necessarily psychopath wrapped stuff. God damn it, I wanted a small beer. I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to be a, a stout or a porter or something like that. Um, but I don't know. That's the whole thing about mystery beers. It's not psychopath wrap, but it's got this little cushion thing on it, and there's like a napkin below it. I don't know. I don't know. I love it. Um, look at that awesome pour because I'm the poor master of the poor somethings. I don't know. I'm exhausted. Uh, I had a very long day at work. It was my last day at work until my baby is born. Um, so this is the, what's today's date? The 24th of February. And uh, by the time I post this, my baby might be born. Uh, due date's March 8th, but I'm taking off the week leading up. Um, to uh, my baby's due date and then a couple weeks after so I uh, put in a ultra shift at work trying to get every physical thing I possibly could get done that I had to be there for I worked remotely before most of the stuff I can do is remote based but anyway back to the beer milk stout it's gotta be two fingers infinite large head because I pour awesomely and just got this rich dark kind of stout vibe but it has this kind of mahogany tone kind of underlying it so let's see if we can get a nose off this gigantic head <sighs> quintessential milk stout through and through you know i mean i'm getting you know just a rich kind of soft lactose married with a nice kind of bittering roasted malt comes off confectionery kind of like chocolate whip uh a cool whip chocolate cool whip kind of vibes to it I'm not getting much else off the nose now. You know, it's two inch thick nose or head is going to leave a little bit of kind of mystery in the beer in and of itself. So let's clean up. Be conscious about cleaning, especially when I do the messing. But yeah, milk stout. I'm just going to dive in. Cheers. This has got to be one of his his aged cans. There's no date in the bottom. I'm curious about this. I say these got has to be one of Steven's aged cans because he, he's been known to send these off. But this is kind of like um, what was it? What did he send me? It was a treehouse stout, um, but it had this kind of just this thinness and this lack of oomph that only kind of aged beers can do. Um, so I'm guessing that's where this one is too. I'm guessing this is somebody's aged milk stout. Yeah, aged milk stout. Aged milk co uh, coffee stout. Let's put it that way. Only reason why I say that is because I get this kind of bittering component in it that I'm not going to attribute all that much to hops. So I assume there's like an echo of coffee past on it um, milk stout because there is this soft kind of sweetened component that's a little bit bigger than what I typically or a little bit different I should say than I get from a malt base I don't think this is a big beer 6.8 let's go 6.8 percent milk stout with coffee in it but I'm two years old maybe on something like this um, if this is fresh I'd be blown away um, there's not a ton of oxidation but it's very very thin Yeah, it's really, really thin. The only other thing, and I and I only say this because Max um, from Beer Mail um, craziness also threw one of these in the mix. The only thing I could see this being outside of an, a super old milk stout is a non-alcoholic stout um, because it's just it's it's it lacks something of an oomph to it that I think maybe alcohol doesn't bring. But I'm I'm guessing this is more of just aged. Uh, variety of stuff. And anything else? So yeah, it's off a little. Well, it's either um, a milk stout with no alcohol in it, or it's an aged milk stout with coffee in it. Done, done. Six point eight percent. I'm gonna say, even though I don't get any alcohol whatsoever off of this thing, I think that's a product of time. Maybe I'm a little too exhausted. So what do we have here? We have Alvarium Heavy Metal Oatmeal Stout. Okay. 
I get that. I'm fair with that because a milk stout, it went, it could be a heavily dosed oatmeal stout. 6.6%. You're telling me this is a freshie, dude? I'm pretty sure this is saying, I'm, this is very, very, very kind of thin for an oatmeal stout. And that's why I would say that, and I don't see a date on this. I don't know if you wrote a date anywhere. Um, heavy metal oatmeal stout, 6.6%. Uh, so I was dead on with the ABV. Uh, keep refrigerated do not age drink now or to see through industry i don't see any, any kind of date on this can that's a weird beer then um if it's age it kind of makes sense um i went milk i went lactose milk stout but it's a heavily doted o doted oated oatmeal stout so i'm okay with that um like i said abv was fine but man if this is fresh, this is probably one of the thinnest oatmeal stouts. Granted, 6% and change. It's not a big beer, but still, you're talking about a heavily dosed, oated imperial stout or oatmeal stout. Goddamn. That's how tired I am. I apologize for the horrible review. Man, that's super thin and super unimpactful. Just that little bit of roasted malts, this thinness with this little bit of soft lactose vibes. That's your oatmeal on play there. Yeah, I don't know what to say about it. It's kind of underwhelming. I've dug what Alvarium has kind of dealt, at least what I've had via the guys up New England way. But, well, I got the ABV right, and my own brain got the kind of core of the beer right. I could have sworn this thing had some age on it. And if it didn't have age on it, I thought it was going to be like a non-alcohol beer. So for all that, I missed. I missed quite a bit, and I don't mind. For a couple different reasons. One, because I never mind. Uh, two, because I'm tired AF. And three, because I think I'm drinking what I'm saying. I don't think this beer... Like, I think at a 6% oatmeal set, I think it's something richer and creamier than this. And it just lacks that. And that's kind of a bummer. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better oatmeal stouts I've had as of late? No. Uh, Valued availability? No idea. Uh, Steven or anybody else out there, let me know what's what when it comes to Alvarium and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like thin oatmeal stouts... <laughs> I don't know if that person exists, but if you do, you will like this. So there you go. Another uh, mystery beer in the books. Thank you very much, Stephen. If you're more than welcome to send mystery beers off, the only way us beer tubers can do the old mystery beers is through donations from y'all. It's kind of like PBS, but with beer. Um, so you, uh, massivebeers at gmail.com. I'm mad at massivebeers.com. You can reach out to me if you'd like. Uh, if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, that thing says it all. Massive beer. For the whole social media stuff. Beer Massif for the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little mystery beer right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.